So it's Friday and we decided to take a little day trip over to the west side of Ireland to Bunratty Castle. Look, there's the castle. Oh hi. You see the water? You see the water? Oh a chicken. Hello chicken. Come on. a very large castle. Like, fairly large. And very square. So I think it's a pretty good castle. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's steep and very difficult with two, <laughs> ch two children's. Little, but, little bitties. But it was, no, it was a good one. It's fine. I approve, Ireland. Well done. It is Monday morning. And today, today's the day. Today's the day. Today's the day. Today's the day. What day, you might ask? Well, it's Monday. But in addition to it being Monday, today's the day we, that we move into our home? Our new home. Our new home. <laughs> I don't know. It is a house. But anyway, so we are uh, just doing last minute cleaning of the house that we've been staying in and making sure it's all ready for uh, our friends when they get back tomorrow. And then we've got uh, a few friends coming to help us drive over to the new place. We're gonna get the keys today and start bringing stuff in. We've been staying up, check it out. We've been staying out in this, uh, uh, we've been we've been staying in this converted attic that Couch right there kind of folds down into a bed and and it's super you know We've been we've been super grateful to be here and it was really uh, really nice of our friends to let us stay while they were gone so but yeah, so we're doing that and That's today. I'm very excited So I left my camera in the car of my friend Matt who dropped us off at our new place Look hello. Welcome to your new home. Welcome to our new home. So, Grand Tour, this is the place where you eat, nothing there yet. This is the place where you sit, nothing here yet. This is the place where you make the food, some things here yet. So this is um, actually a fairly larger kitchen than we've seen in Ireland so far. And so, <laughs> we're very excited about it. Little uh, back garden here. For all my American friends, you call your yard, your garden. Kind of a side room here that will probably put like a guest bed in or excess things or, or whatever. Upstairs there's bathroom. This I think is gonna be our office. So I'll have my setup in here, my desk and everything and computer. And then Christiana will have hers in here. So this is the uh, kind of office room. And then we have our bedroom, which has got like a built-in wardrobe which is pretty sweet. It's got like a bunch of nooks and what's this? So this is our bedroom, Big bed, you know, right there and stuff. And then got a little bedroom for Rylan in here, a little small little bedroom. Christiana went and did a giant food trip earlier. So we've got groceries and we're just kind of like slowly moving things into their appropriate rooms and putting things on shelves and oh my gosh, it's crazy. Uh, probably gonna do another Ikea run, like the last Ikea run because last time I wasn't able to get the stuff that we had to, needed to get delivered. So I'll go tomorrow morning and get that done. And so uh, here we are. So Rylan and I are taking a quick walk down to the playground and enjoying our time. A little bit out in the sunshine today. It's really nice. We live right next to a park. It's so good. Hi. So that's an air mattress. And while I'm super thankful that we had a friend who let us borrow their air mattress, kind of over it. But today, uh, the today, our first furniture delivery is going to show up. And 
that means that mattresses are coming, bed frames are coming, which would be great so that you don't have to be on an air mattress anymore because it just, yeah. But that's not the point of what I'm doing right now because as you can tell, look at this. How do you make this work? How do you, oh, <laughs> there we go. Hey Rylan, something came in the mail for you. Oh. Do you know how to open it? What is it? I didn't know. What is it? What's in the bag? <gasps> Who's on there? This is Hiccup and Toothless. It is Hiccup and Toothless. <laughs> oh, it fits perfect, huh? <laughs> yeah. So this is an interesting thing, as opposed to in America where you flip the switch up to turn it on. In this case, you flip it down. There's just a bunch of a bunch of little things that that you don't really think about when you when you move or even when you just live in a place for a really long time that seem really natural to you that are just part of the way things are done or or whatever. And you know in in the place that you live. And so there's just a lot of little things like that where you just kind of have to learn learn the new rules of the game. So our IKEA delivery did not come yesterday as I thought it was going to, as they told me that it would. It could have been anything from they pushed the order through yesterday and then it's coming today, or they just had a bunch of deliveries and based on where we are in the city, it might have been like the last on their list and they're like, ah, we'll just get it first thing tomorrow. I don't really know. Um, and it was, it was pretty frustrating, but it's just part of the process of one, getting settled, and two, getting settled into a new culture. And everything just kind of runs a little differently here. And that's okay. We just have to navigate it. This week has been a little bit sparse on the video, mainly because I, I left my camera in my friend's car. So I've been using my iPhone to record all of this week's video. Come on, buddy. It's a little more inconvenient to record on my phone, but it's, it's how it goes. And it's, uh, it's fine. At least I have something to film on. What is today? Say Thursday? No, like actually it's today Thursday? What is today? The 18th? I don't, I legitimately don't know what day it is. Decided to take a walk because the uh, girls were a little bit out of control this morning and I'm gonna walk into the village or nearby village and um, just walk by the seafront and you know just kind of get out it's really nice and overcast and kind of misty out this morning feels really really good the smell of the ocean and you can hear the seagulls and everything it's so nice Are the docks where all of the boats are because that's what you do with the dock and then right out here between this sandbar and that sandbar peninsula whatever right out there is the Irish Sea so close it feels good out here all right headed back home so the guys from Ikea just showed up we're loading everything in right now so excited look a box look a box look at Christiana. Hi. <laughs> and then so we've got all the things. This one's Rylan's bed? I think so. Christiana's desk chair. Yeah. And there's a bunch of stuff that we're bringing upstairs and she's bouncing on the thing. So there's the very start of our bed. So I think the best way to do this is I'll just stand here and I'll document this. <laughs> and you just, you know, You're you can make this happen. We've been building our bed for the last Four, four hours. Four hours. There it is. And it's, it's not beautiful. because it's not because we're incompetent. 
it's because we have babies and I bought a drill the other day, a power, a power cordless drill that was like 10 euro rather than the like 20 or 30 euro one or the 80 or the 150. Okay. I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm super nervous. Slowly coming in done. So there's their bed. <sighs> it's very nice. I'm very happy that it's done. Because it's like 10.30, almost? Almost 10.30. And I'm ready for sleep. So that'll do it for this week. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see you next week. Oh!